So let's pretend. I just want to show you guys something. <coughs> We're right out of time. So if you guys had y equals negative 1 times x minus 3 cubed plus 1, and I said find the zeros. The first thing we always want to do is set it equal to 0, right? <coughs> OK, good. So we're going to find the zeros. Now, previously, we've done factoring. Or even today, we had to do synthetic division or so forth. But we always wanted to do those techniques when we had more than one variable, correct? How many actual variables do we have in this exact equation? Well, it's 1, but it's raised to the third power, right? If you were to expand that, you would have more variables. But in this exact equation, as it's written, how many variables are there? Just one. So guess what? We can solve for one variable. It doesn't matter what power it's raised to. We just need to use inverse operations. So just from algebra 1, subtract the 1 on both sides. Negative 1 equals negative 1 times x minus 3 cubed. Now divide by negative 1. Positive 1 equals x minus 3 cubed. So how do you undo cubing? You have to take the cube root. The cube root, what number multiplied by itself three times gives you 1? 1. Add the 3. 4 equals x. If you guys look at the graph, is that the real x-intercept? Look at the graph. Is that x equals 4? Yes. We know there's two other ones that are imaginary, but that gives us our real x-intercept. Okay. Amazing. All right, if you guys would please um, put